Hey everybody, Function X here, another episode of One More Island. We are trying to get uh, Tier 4 completed so we can get this lady off her back and stop getting, uh, stop her taking all the, our goods for taxes. Uh, in between episodes, as promised, I went into my uh, trade routes and uh, I've got all Tier 6 ships pretty much running now. Um, and so I've got Tier 1, 2, and 3 delivery. Uh, then a building materials. Let's let's go into them. So yeah, so just general building materials, uh, tier one. Got two stacks of each of these just because they get used so much. Um, tier two, where it's picking up is a little bit different on each island. So well is given the spices, lizards given the beer and the tea, uh, and then Baird's given the sausage, and then it's delivered everywhere else. Uh, oh, that was tier two, and then tier three. All comes from Baird and gets delivered only to Clark right now because that's the only island that I have tier three workers that need it. Um, and then yeah, so any any island that produces stuff or needs stuff, I have a dedicated ship that just goes back and forth from Baird to give it what it needs. So Blizzard needs a ton of wheat uh, to produce its tea, or to produce its beer, and then also grabs its tea. Um, Wellesley just picks up stuff and brings it back, and then. Clark, we have, don't have this being produced yet, but we will. Uh, Clark's going to need, or this is Clack, sorry. Clack needs uh, some spices to make chocolate, uh, but it's going to give back gold, chocolate, and exquisite clothes. Uh, what else did I not see? Last one. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, so let's get started. Uh, this island, they pretty much have produced as much as possible, and so they're just kind of sitting idle, pretty much everybody on this island, um, including our uh, people somewhere down here, here we go, um, that are making gold and uh, coal. So let's go ahead and get a, um, a smelter somewhere around here so that it can make use of this stuff. Um, so we're going down to tier four, and here it is, gold smelter. Um, I could, why has it got walls around it? Did they change? I think we had an update. <laughs> this is, I don't remember it building the walls for you when you, when you did a zone. Uh, okay. Um, we could build it here along the main road. We could build it in between. I think we'll stick it right here on the main road. Oops, not on the main road. Let's do it here. Okay. Yeah, there's just kind of a weird little update that happened. Okay. I uh, need a door to get in. Let's have a back door and a front door. Uh, crate is the input materials, which will come in from the back. Mining crate will be the output stuff. Cauldron, probably going to need two of these, maybe. And then a small table. We'll see if they can keep up, um, or the output is enough. We might need to expand this over and make more uh, smelting cauldrons. Um, but that's going to be pretty good. These guys will get building. All right, what is the other thing we want to do this island? Uh, we're going to mix the indigo with the silk to make fancy dye. Um, so we're going to do that. And that's going to be in the silk treatment. I need silk and indigo, yeah. Um, but it needs more indigo than silk, so putting it closer to the indigo is going to be better. Okay, this one doesn't have the, uh, the wall around it. It's just something weird with the gold smeltery. Um, so let's put this one... That's probably going to be too skinny, so we'll do it over here. Okay, and... Oh, this is an outdoor one. Okay. So maybe doing it here would have been fine. Okay. So output here. Let's do them like that. And then let's just put some die pits. It wants four of them minimum. Okay. There we go. Got some die pits. Okay, so for right now, we're probably going to need to hire some more workers um, just to build it all, and then we're going to have to assign these people to work there once it's done building. This gold is so far away. Maybe I shouldn't have built this all the way down here.
But I don't want to have them build like a, a brick path right now because that would just take all the workers. Okay. And then the chocolate, let's look at the chocolate zone. Uh, chocolate maker is going to need a uh, chocolate mixer, a showcase, a create output table. I'm going to take in cocoa beans and spices. So I've got spices imported now. Um, and the cocoa beans here, so maybe we make the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Maybe over here. Or we can just do it down here. Oh, below the well. Yep, yeah, looks fine with me. Okay. Chocolate mixer. Ooh boy, that's a big guy. Move this door here. Put the door in, in the end, actually. Uh, let's do that. Or brick down. Okay. Showcase. Is this just. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is anything fancy. Uh, so let's put the output. I don't know why that can't be a wall. Something's in the way there, and I can't tell what it is. <laughs> um, Put there, right, right here, and then we can make the door. Showcase. I don't know. Put it back here. And a table. Okay. So we did give them a lot to build right now. Uh, it's going to take a while, especially since they're having to run all the way down here. Do anything. Uh, so let's just go ahead and speed it up. While they're doing that, let's just give a quick check to all our other islands. Uh, this one's make oh yeah, this one's always short on spices because it puts them in here first and here apparently. So many spices. Um, let me slow it down just a little bit. You can see I expanded the coffee farm quite a bit. The co cotton plant is our cotton farm has also grown quite a bit, and these spices were always huge. Did, did upgrade a few of our mines, um, for the the large mines. Uh, but this one looks like it is going great. Let's check out Lizard here. Uh, might be a little short on your one stuff. Hopefully there's a delivery coming soon, but our output is looking great. Oh, good there. Got plenty of extra tea. I had to look how many water things I'm grabbing now. Four wells for five tea um, things. Uh, our hops is actually not keeping up because I even expanded it way up here look how many hops farms I have to try and keep five of these active and it's not enough now they're starting to cut it down okay yeah they should cut this whole farm I just I just happened to time it right when it was about to be harvested um, coal there okay and then let's check Baird out um, everything looks good cool uh, as far as research, we researched everything we can except for the uh, declared dependence, and then these two need tier four materials: the deep mining and the train carriers three. Um, I did get the irrigation stuff, and we can take a look at that. Um, for, but from what I can see, not very good. <laughs> um, if we go to, I can't remember where it is. I think it's under construction. No, it's a zone. Uh, it appeared somewhere after I researched it. There it is, irrigation. So you build the irrigation, it's a two by two zone, and it needs a worker to work the pipe, the, the pump, sorry. And the pump is going to make water uh, at a um, pressure of 25. Um, now that pressure is then used one per pipe, so one square is going to use one of that 25. And then the sprinkler is going to use, I think, five of it. Um, and only water like like a three by three area or something and, and not the uh, actual space that the sprinkler's on. So you're getting rid of some farmers, but you're putting a tier three worker in their place. 
So you need less people, but higher tier people. And it doesn't, you need a lot of them. <laughs> so it makes no sense at all to do it on, on wheat. Um, maybe on some of the tier three and four stuff, it makes sense. Um, but I don't think the silk, cocoa, and indigo ever die to the water. I mean, maybe the indigo does. I haven't had it happen. Um, so yeah, it's probably just the cotton and coffee that it's even viable for. So I, that's why I haven't worried about it. Um, we're doing fine just having a ton of farmers. <laughs> it means we're paying a lot of taxes because we do have so many people. Uh, you can see 23.7 of each material um, for having, how many people do we got total? Can we see that? Uh, oh, there's not an all island. Um, and there's not easy way to, to sum these guys up. Why do I have some tier four just general workers? That seems a little bit unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, assigned a zone, sure, but just general workers? No, I'm not going to do that. All right. Um, anything interesting to check out on zones? Not really. This thing sh um, scrolling is not the best. And it's also not showing us all my zones. That is weird. I think the new uh, the new update has a few bugs in it. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, but yeah, it's interesting to check your wells, like. I'm running two wells here, and they're almost fully utilized. The wheat farm is just crazy. Uh, but things like that second apple orchard was worthless. I, I did not need to buy the second apple orchard or to build it. And I don't need to run the second clay digger because the first one's only half utilized. So things like that um, you can check pretty easy. It, it may be easier to check than the, the ledger. Um, We are running low on wheat, tea, coffee, cotton. That's all the production stuff. But red, that concerns me a tiny bit. It's only a 1.7 brick. <laughs> that only happens when I do a big construction project like I'm doing. It's the first time grapes is shown in the native. Tools are a little bit running low. Um, yeah, cool. Let's see how our grapes doing. Now I got a huge surplus of grapes and wine, so I'm not going to worry about. I could hire another guy here or expand these, that kind of thing. Don't worry about it. Okay, are any of these zones actually done, or at least getting close to being done? Just a few more uh, walls up here, and this will be ready to go. Let's speed it up again. A few of these being built. Oh my gosh, the plague. 49 animals. It's killed all our sheep. Got something there. Withered crops. I don't like to run it on speed 3 when I'm like in an area like that. Just crazy to see how fast they run around. Come on, let's build these walls. Building that one. <laughs> this one looks like it's pretty close. Could prioritize it. Oh, they're running short on brick. Okay. We need another delivery, just a general material delivery. Here it comes. Nope. Maybe one of those, <laughs> hopefully. Nope. <laughs> Okay, well, is she coming now? Nope. One of these has got to be it. That one? Yeah, there's some bricks. Living on bricks. There we go. Look at him go to work. <laughs> yeah, we got bricks. And, and they <laughs> used like all 50 already. Ooh, that's loud. The uh, 
the sound randomly goes super quiet and super loud every once in a while. If we zoom out, no. Who knows? All right, this one is done. We can hire some people. Remember, these are tier four people, so they're going to increase our um, our use on our, our tier three stuff here. Our clothing, our meat, coffee, and wine. And this one is almost done. Oh, that's why I couldn't build that there, because this water pail is there. All right, let's move this guy as well. Um, where are we, where are we needing water? Oh, I built this just for, in case of fires. That's the only reason I built this. Yeah. Uh, we'll put them right here instead. Bones. Oh man, lots of crops. <laughs> Heat wave. Oh my gosh, that whole plantation withered. Oh my gosh. We're going to be short coffee for a while. That is bad. Oh, man. <laughs> that is really bad. Okay, this one is ready for workers. Some chocolate makers. Nice. Uh, this one's ready for that guy to come back and work here. Do some water. All right, you guys have your coal. Nobody's bringing you gold. Where do we take the gold? Let's get some workers here. Concerned how many tier three workers we're hiring right now. <laughs> or tier four workers, yeah. And this one's ready to go. Here they come. Buy them clothes. Okay, that probably means we need to hire a lot of tier one people just to deliver stuff around here. Because we just hired like 15 people. Uh, if we got two fishers right now, that should be enough fish for the, our tier work, tier one workers. New brick delivery. Here we go. We got some chocolate already. Sweet. Beautiful. Okay, and then we should be getting some exquisite clothing. No, this just makes the dyed silk. How do we make the actual clothing? Clothing. I'll find it. There it is. Uh, gold ore and exquisite clothes. Okay, so we need some of the gold from down below. So maybe we do need to run this second gold mine wherever it is down here since we've got two things that need it. Okay. So we've got silk here. The gold will come up maybe along this path. We'll build it right here. Exquisite tailor. I wish they would tell me what island they're starving on. Okay, uh, close rack is probably the output. Creates the input. A mannequin, is that the worker? No, the sewing table is what they actually work at. And then I'm going to go ahead and do construction, and we'll get a rough path from like this. 
but we can upgrade these uh these paths if we determine we need it. I think we do probably get to get this gold up here. Um, because we've got a bunch of gold here, but nobody is coming to pick it up. Paths to help them out. Why is why did somebody go over there? <laughs> That's a weird path somebody made. More workers. I think I need to um, make some dedicated cl uh, movers, collectors, whatever, on this island. So let's move carriers. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, come on. Uh, that one. Get 10 dedicated carriers. Well, I mean, this uh, building will take a little longer to build, but that's okay. People will actually go get some gold down here. No, nope, they're building path. <laughs> cool. We got some chocolate. Um, it's a little bit of a bummer that they're putting it in here because um, I'm starting to get research but I don't really need it, right? Like, they're eating it, it's kind of a waste. Um, but if I say the, say the exquisite clothes are only for ships and the chocolate is only for ships, then nobody will be able to come pick it up out of here once it's placed there. Um, and I believe I have a trade route. Did I make a tier four one? No, not yet. Okay, do we have an empty ship here? Nope. Let's build a ship. Uh, I did have to move our uh, our shipyard way over here. Tier four. All right, so that'll be our tier four ship. So let's get a trade route going. All right, that's going to come from Clack. Picking up gold bars and uh, exquisite clothes and chocolate. And then it'll deliver them to Baird, I guess. I have to find out where I'm going to make my jewelry because that needs gold and diamonds. Well, some harbor will deliver diamonds, and then uh, I have to find out where I'm going to make whiskey, whiskey and jewelry and paintings. But this will work for now. It's probably going to uh, oh, it's just going to tell me I don't have a ship for it. That's fine. It's, it's still building right here. Needs a lot more wood. This guy needs some wood. Somebody deliver him wood. It's so far away now that, it, yeah, it does take a while to build a ship. That's why you build it early before you need it. Okay, how's it looking over here? We got some gold. Nice. We got some chocolate. No exquisite clothes yet. Oh, that's because this, this Taylor sewing station is not built yet. Plenty of uh, dyed silk, though. That's great. No idle workers, though. So let's hire a few more. I think I'm going to need a third fisherman problem is oh yeah i can just do in the zone to like Let's just do around 50 workers here. Oh, yeah, make that chocolate. Cool. 
Looks like spices are coming in at an okay rate. Yep, there's extra. Cool. Um, and probably what I need to do is get this stuff out of here. Make this chocolate. Just so we get a nice storage. We don't need to store chopped cocoa beans in there. All right, so this would be exquisite clo uh, clothes as well. And our ship is done. All right, so trade route. Here for add a ship. The Ararat. All right, and we don't need silk stored in any way, right? No. So move that out of there. If we uh, determine that we need a little more spices, we can add that. Gold bar, gold bar, gold bar. Okay, yep. We are still completely over overwhelming our workforce. <laughs> Idle workers all the time. Oh. You don't need to make that path if you just made your own. Silly people. <laughs> Whatever. I don't like how these uh, these upright ones um, require two workers, but only one can work at a time. Like, that seems silly. But, oh well. I'm just going to take the, should I, tier three, I don't really want a tier three worker. I guess I just have to deal, oh, I can just pause production then. Is this going to go, tell me it's fine? Nope. <laughs> I was like, I want you to go away. Can you guys take care of your withered crops, please? All right, these guys are going crazy on the chocolate. I'd sell. Oh, here we go. We are ready to put some people to work. What is it missing? Oh, the mannequin hasn't been built yet. Somebody build this, please. He did, he brought one tool and now he's gonna or one wood and now he's gonna get four wool or four. Tools. Let's follow him. It's like we could use a path along there. Here he comes. All right, so they should start getting all this uh, dyed silk. <laughs> They're all going for food together. They're like, let's go eat. Little uh, worker lunch. All right, so what is this missing? Oh, the gold ore. Problem is we're not producing enough gold ore for that, so we're going to get a second gold mine here. Okay, <laughs> long way to walk. Stop withering. Now, we did have the original coal mine here, but then we found that there was a closer one here. 
So we decommissioned that one, but it still has a few extra pieces of coal if someone wants to go grab it. Can I uh, prioritize this? Here it comes. Oh, it needs 20 brick. That is going to take a while for you to carry all that, dude. He's going to make a nice path as he goes. I was reading that um, maps are supposed to have more than two gold nodes. Uh, but this is, as far as I can tell, if I check all my islands and islets, uh, none have gold other than the center island. And apparently that causes problems uh, at the last stage here where you don't have enough to sustain what you need. Um, so we'll have to see. They did say they can fix it if I like send my save file to them. Um, so we'll get as far as we can. And if that does happen, then we might have to pause the series just for a little bit until we get it fixed. How much more bricks do you need, dude? Six more. All right. You should come next time. Which means we could probably go ahead and hire our workers. Anytime we hire workers, we should probably replace them with the peon workers. Okay, so the gold and the uh, chocolate is being moved over here. Chocolate's here. Cool. And we've got a little bit of gold here as well. Nice. All right, let me uh, just do a little bit more checking on everything. Make sure we've got all the markets full. Yeah, I've been running for a little while. Um... This one's a little low, but I think I think it's uh, just I think it's good. This one's the one I'm most scared with because we've hired so many tier three workers. Look at all that research we've been getting. That's a fun. That's basically every time anyone see, eats a chocolate bar, they <laughs> get a little research point. So we've, we've fed forty-seven chocolate bars to people. They are happy about it. All right, so it's possible our cocoa plantation is not big enough because these guys have used all the cocoa and they're idle right now. So let's expand the size of this. Just have him, just this lady, start planting cocoa trees or plants, bushes, whatever. Oh, we're actually big enough that we need a second worker now. Okay. We have an indigo farmer, right? Oh, we have two of them. They just went to went to eat, went on their lunch break. Need that gold though. That's producing like 1.1 gold ore a what? A day? <laughs> He's having two of them. That's it's not going to be much gold. And most of it's probably going to be delivered here, which means we won't get exquisite clothes. And I, I can't really control that. Like, I can't control who gets the gold um, other than this one's just close. Hmm. Okay. Well, we did get those buildings done. We have our, our smeltery, we have our chocolate maker, and we have our silk treatment factory and the exquisite tailor. So four new buildings for tier four. Um, what do we have left? Uh, we're going to need to do some whiskey distilling. I think that can all happen on the main island. We'll do that next episode. And then we need to find somewhere we can mine diamonds. And bring them back uh, so we can combine them to make the jewelry. Um, and then we need to make the paintings, which is going to take a frame maker, 
uh, Cottonwood, and then Indigo for the painting studio. I think we said we were going to make that down here, right? Because this one has Indigo, Cotton. Also, it's got diamonds, so maybe we'll do the diamond mining down here. So next island, yeah, we will uh, expand to the island of Struck and build a whiskey distillery somewhere up here where we've got a crap ton of wheat. Um, and then we shall be pretty close to done um, and just need to then uh, get her off our back, declare independence, and win the game. Uh, if you guys liked the episode, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more. This has been Fun X. Catch you later.